My name is Alyssa and I'm the Deliverability Lead here at ConvertKit. In today's quick tip video, I wanted to run through how to test if your messages are passing email authentication. Uh, so email authentication can be a little tricky, it can be a little technical. I won't go into too much detail in this quick video, but if you do want more detail, um, I would highly recommend listening to our podcast called Deliverability Defined. There's a whole episode on email authentication that we will link in the notes below. But to just give you a basic understanding of what I'm talking about, there are three different types of email authentication that exist to prevent spammers from sending from domains that don't belong to them. So for example, a spammer might want to send you an email from your bank's domain. And we wouldn't want that to happen. No one would want that to happen. So there is SPF, DCAM, and DMARC. They are three types of authentication with the purpose of making sure um, that anyone sending from a domain is allowed to send from that domain and that it belongs to them. So for any good sender like yourself, it's important that your messages are authenticated properly so that mailbox providers can trust you and know you're safe. The good news is ConvertKit takes care of SPF and DCAM on your behalf. So SPF and DCAM should always pass using ConvertKit's domain, which is awesome. For most senders, that's exactly what you want. You don't have to do anything and your messages are good to go. There are some senders who have maybe more strict uh, privacy needs and they might have a DMARC record on their domain. If that's you, there is another step you need to take in order to pass authentication using ConvertKit or really any other ESP or email sending tool. So if you're a ConvertKit customer who is using DMARC on your domain, you will want to verify your sending domain. So that was kind of a lot. <laughs> Let's get down to basics. If first you just want to test, are my messages authenticated? You can do that anytime by just going into your ConvertKit account, sending a preview email, and then pulling the message headers once you receive that test email. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So once you receive your email, I'm personally using Gmail. Um, these steps are gonna be a little different depending on what you're using. But in Gmail, you just click these three vertical dots and you click show original. And then Gmail makes it so easy. Uh, right here, they tell us SPF, passing, DKIM, pass, and DMARC, pass as well. So I can tell that I am all set. I'm passing authentication, which is wonderful. Um, if you pull your headers and somehow see that something isn't passing, then reach out to us and we will be happy to help with that. Um, if you're not using Gmail, then you'll need to look at the message headers and do a control or a command F, whatever your computer uses, and do a quick search for SPF, DCAM, and DMARC and see if it says pass or fail next to SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. So if you are a ConvertKit customer who is using DMARC on their domain, then you will need to set up a verified sending domain. First, let me show you how to check if you're even using DMARC. A lot of people don't even know that they are. So uh, the website I use most often is called Demartian, D -M -A -R -T cian.com and once you go to that website you can enter your sending domain so once you enter your domain it's going to tell you whether or not you have a DMARC record if you don't there's nothing else you need to do your convert kit messages are authenticated you're all set go ahead and send if it pops up there and says that you do have a DMARC record then you're going to want to verify your sending domain in ConvertKit, which happens in your email settings. So I'm gonna walk you through what that looks like real quick. 
So within your ConvertKit account, you're going to click up uh, on your name or photo and go down to where it says account settings, but underneath that it says email. So we'll want to click there for your email settings. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to towards the bottom of the page and it says optional verified sending domain. So here you can go through the steps to verify your sending domain and that will allow your ConvertKit messages to pass DMARC. I hope that was helpful. Again, if you still want more information about what authentication is, I would highly recommend listening to the Deliverability Defined podcast episode on authentication. But for this quick video, I wanted to just give you the absolute basics you need to know um, to determine if your messages are passing authentication or not. And if they're not, what you need to do next, which is uh, setting up that verified sending domain. Hope that helped. I hope you all have a great rest of your week.